I'm sad to be leaving Italy, but I'm very excited to check out Slovenia. I've heard nothing but good things and that it's not a very popular tourist spot. Definitely interested in that. Well, we're back in Venice, but just for an hour or two. We just grabbed a quick bite to eat, and now we're waiting for our bus to Ljubljana. We just got on the bus, and the bus driver is a very grumpy man. So, should be interesting. Very comfy. <laughs> Tons of room. I think we're about to cross the border into Slovenia. That was an easy border cross. Got him. Always a little bit of a mess getting your luggage out of the bus, but we are in Ljubljana, Slovenia. We're here in our Airbnb in Ljubljana. We were walking through the train station and there were these two questionable fellows that looked like they were up to no good. Kind of stopped and then immediately started walking as soon as we walked past them and were following us for a little bit. And there were like two of them who did it at, at different times. But you know, we walked with purpose and I kept staring at them. I had a water bottle in my hand just in case and they diverted. But um, we're here and the Airbnb is nice. It has AC, which is always a pleasure. So this is the kitchen, living room area. The lovely air conditioning unit. He has a little welcome tea and coffee station. The bathroom is like oddly huge. So here's the bathroom, here's a shower. Here's a really big empty space, but there's a sauna. I don't think we'll be needing that in this heat, but lovely addition. The toilet room. And then our bedroom. Interesting layout. It is, it is, but. Very spacious. Yeah, it's very spacious, so I'm okay with it. So usually when we get to a new city, we go out and explore, but we don't have a washing machine. And after the Dolomites, we're about due for it. So we're gonna go to the laundromat and then grab something to eat after. So I looked up if you can drink the tap water here, and it said the tap water is pristine. And Hunter was telling me it's because we're really close to a national park, and so it's a lot of natural glacial and spring water. We also looked up if it's safe here, and it's actually like the 10th safest country in the world, or at least in the top 10. So maybe those guys were totally just minding their own business and I was overthinking the situation, but I was ready either way. First time I've ever seen a countdown at a crosswalk. That's super nice. This is literally the nicest laundromat I've ever been to in my entire life. So laundry took a little bit longer than expected and... 
this place closes in like 15 minutes, but it got amazing reviews. So we asked to get food for takeaway and he said, no problem, we'll get it right out. So we're super excited to have some. We got some kind of meatball dish. It sounded amazing. Well, we're walking back to the Airbnb and Alicia's just holding the food in the bag. It smells so good. <laughs> I cannot wait to dig in. Oh my God. This <laughs> looks amazing. What? It's like a seven meatball sandwich. Trying the sauce first. Mm, it's like a, a red pepper relish almost. The meat has like cheese baked into it. Not the traditional meatball that you're thinking of. Not even close. Mm, 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 mm. This might be one of my favorite meals that we've had so far. This is so like unique. It's so different. Unique New York. <laughs> I think tomorrow we're just gonna explore the city some more. And then the following day, we're going to Lake Bled, which I'm very excited about. It's going to be a great couple days here.